And in anticipation of this mega show of solidarity by the Congress, the Delhi police has beefed up security outside the AICC headquarters as well as outside Tenjan for Sonia Gandhi's residence in the national capital. Massive security deployment uh, that is being reported at both of these locations. Uh, there are barricades that have been put up to ensure that Congress leaders cannot go beyond a point. We're hearing at this point that media personnel are not being allowed inside the Congress office. Remember that last time around when Rahul Gandhi was appearing before the ED, there was an all-out showdown as the Delhi police had also entered into the Congress headquarters and stopped Congress leaders from protesting. It led to a massive war of words. This time too, it looks like there is going to be a face-off as uh, the Delhi police haven't granted permission for any sort of protest. The Congress hasn't even approached the cops for permission for this agitation. Let's take this across to our reporters on the ground. Shreya Chatterjee is joining us live from outside the ED office. Moshmi Singh is reporting from outside the AICC headquarters. Moshmi, I'd like to begin with you. Good morning. Uh, I'm sure you're all geared up for a day that's going to be seeing a lot of action where you are at the AICC headquarters. Right now, we're hearing that already there's a lot of Delhi police deployment there. A very good morning to all our viewers and you. Uh, right there in the studio, we are out in the ground and we are where all the action is going to happen. We are standing right outside Ten Janpat. Behind me, it looks like uh, that this is a place under siege with several barricades and layers of security uh, personnel, uh, paramilitary forces, and Delhi police. Even as we were entering uh, Akbar Road, uh, either sides have been absolutely, uh, you know, barricaded, and uh, several layers of security have been placed uh, outside the AICC. Even as the Congress, for them, this is. Uh, the D-Day because uh, their Congress president has been summoned and uh, she uh, would be leaving around 11 a.m. But before that, we are told that all the Congress MPs will march out of the parliament and they will be ferried in buses uh, to the AICC headquarters where all the leaders will stand in solidarity uh, with uh, the Congress president. We were told by our sources that Sonia Gandhi had insisted earlier on when she was issued the first summon that she would, whenever she goes, will go in person. There were speculations whether she would ask for an extension uh, because her, uh, she is still uh, not completely uh, well and uh, suffering from uh, post-COVID syndromes. But she, this time round, she insisted that she would go to the ED. 50 hours was the interrogation of Rahul Gandhi. We will have to wait and see how far that stretches. But even as uh, you can see that this entire road is deserted, uh, I can tell you that there is going to be a lot of action with Congress workers and leaders being uh, called from all quarters and a nationwide protest being planned. But are they then looking for some sort of face off with the cops? Why haven't they asked for permission to hold this kind of a protest? Because time and again they've referred to this as a peaceful dharna. Even in the case of Rahul Gandhi appearing before the ED as well. That time too we saw a showdown. But now there's been no sort of communication that's gone across to the Delhi police that they have an intention to protest. And that's why Delhi cops are saying that look, we're not going to allow any Congress leader to gather or any of these workers to come together in large numbers anywhere on the streets of Delhi. Let's get in Shreya Chatterjee also on this broadcast. She's joining us live from outside the ED office. Shreya, it's a sense of deja vu essentially. One month back you were reporting for us from outside the ED office when things went completely out of control. You know, tires were being burnt. There were violent protests also that were reported. This time around, is the Delhi police ensuring none of that can happen? Well, absolutely so, Akshita. You know, uh, uh, the Delhi police has actually uh, ensured a three-layered protection just outside the Enforcement Directorate, where I'm standing right now. This is the main gate of the ED office, where there is the first barricade. The second barricade uh, is, uh, I mean, a, a, a little away from uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the Enforcement Directorate office. And then there is a third barricade at the roundabout of the APJ Abdul Kalam Road. So these three barricades have been ensured, like before, anticipating that the Congress protesters could 
could actually, uh, I mean, uh, create a similar scenario uh, as they did when Rahul Gandhi was called in for questioning. Remember, for over 50 hours, he was grilled by the Enforcement Directorate previously and that's when we saw the Congress protesters also uh, I mean resort to all kind of means to ensure that they register their protest as you rightly mentioned tires were burnt very close uh, to the enforcement directorate office as well and many supporters from the uh, youth Congress specifically were detained from outside